Here are the f top five medical advances in 2024. First, we have CRISPR or gene editing therapy. The FDA approved the world's first CRISPR gene editing therapy, Castrevy, for treating sickle cell disease. This innovative therapy helps patients produce healthy hemoglobin, addressing the abnormal hemoglobin issues that cause the rise of diseases characteristic red blood cell deformation. First, let's try to understand what sickle cell disease is. Sickle cell disease is a genetic condition where the hemoglobin in the red blood cells is abnormal. Hemoglobin is the protein that carries oxygen in the blood. The effect of this is abnormal hemoglobin causes red blood cells to become rigid and crescent shaped or sickle shaped, leading to various complications like pain, infections, anemia, and blood flow blockages. Now, let's talk about how CASTRV works. First, CASTRV targets sickle cell mutations. CASTRV targets the genetic mutation responsible for sickle cell disease. It aims to correct or compensate for the mutation in the hemoglobin gene. It does this through gene editing. By editing the genes in the bone marrow cells where blood cells are produced, the therapy can enable the production of healthy hemoglobin. This helps in reducing the sickling of red blood cells and associated complications. The therapy involves extracting bone marrow stem cells from the patient, editing the stem cells in the lab setting using CRISPR, and then reinfusing these edited cells back into the patient. Clinical trials have shown that CASTRV could effectively produce healthy hemoglobin in patients with sickle cell disease. The therapy also demonstrated a favorable safety profile. Based on the results of the clinical trials, the FDA approved CASTRV for use, recognizing the potential to significantly improve the lives of patients with this condition. There's many future implications of this technology. First of all, the transformative potential. CASTRV represents a transformative approach to treating genetic diseases, offering a potential cure rather than merely managing symptoms. Also, there's a broader impact as this therapy opens doors for CRISPR in treating other genetic conditions. There's also ethical and moral concerns with genetic editing technology. However, further research is necessary in focusing on refining CRISPR technology for broader applications and ensuring its long-term safety and efficacy. Currently, there's many long-term effects being monitored. Long-term studies are being conducted to monitor the effects of CASTRV and other similar therapies. Another major medical advance is Alzheimer's drug lecanemab. The FDA recently granted full approval to the Alzheimer's drug lecanemab, which works by removing amyloid plaques that build up in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. While this is not a stop to the disease, it has shown to slow cognitive decline significantly. How lecanemab works is it targets amyloid plaques. Lecanemab is an antibody that specifically targets amyloid plaques in the brain. And then it removes these plaques. It works by binding to these plaques, which is thought to help in their removal or reduction process. This process is believed to slow the progression of cognitive decline. Based on the results of clinical trials, the FDA has granted full approval of the use of lecanemab. This approval is noteworthy because of the limited effective treatment options previously available for Alzheimer's. In terms of treatment window, the drug is most effective in the early stages of Alzheimer's, emphasizing the importance of early diagnosis in order to intervene. In terms of side effects of the drug, the most common side effects include headache, and infusion-related reactions and area, which is a condition that causes swelling and microhemorrhages in the brain. In order to maintain safety of patients, it's important to monitor patients consistently who are receiving lecanemab. Typically, they need to include regular brain imaging to manage these risks. However, further research is also required for this drug as additional studies are ongoing to better understand the long-term effects of lecanemab and explore its efficacy in different stages of Alzheimer's. Next, 
we have FDA approval of the first gene therapy for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD for short, which represents a significant breakthrough in treating the debilitating genetic condition. How DMD works is it's a severe type of muscular dystrophy that primarily affects boys. It caused by mutations in the dystrophin gene. The role of the dystrophin gene is it's a protein essential for maintaining muscle cell integrity. Its absence of deficiency in DMD leads to progressive muscle weakness and degeneration. The therapy works as it first introduces a modified version of the dystrophin gene into the patient's body. This is usually achieved using a viral vector or also known as a virus modified to carry the therapeutic gene without causing disease. The modified gene then enables the body to produce a version of the dystrophin protein. Although typically shorter than the normal version, this partial dystrophin can perform some functions of the normal protein, helping stabilize muscle cells. Typically, the delivery method of this gene therapy is administered through intravenous infusion. Next, let's talk about a vaccine that has recently gained FDA approval to fight against respiratory syncytial virus or RSV. How RSV works is RSV is a common respiratory virus that usually causes mild cold-like symptoms that can be severe, especially in infants or older adults. High risk groups are the infants, young children, or older adults, as these viruses can lead to bronchitis and pneumonia. For older adults, one newly approved RSV vaccine known as Arexiv is specifically designed for adults aged 60 and older. This vaccine aims to protect against severe RSV infection, which can be particularly dangerous at this age group. Another RSV vaccine made for pregnant individuals known as Abrisvo is approved for the use of pregnant individuals. The vaccine not only protects the person who is pregnant, but also offers passive immunity to the newborn as antibodies in the vaccine are transferred from the mother to the fetus. Finally, a monoclonal antibody is already developed for children. A monoclonal antibody, which is a lab-made antibody that mimics the immune system's ability to fight off harmful pathogens, has been approved for children two years and younger. The treatment of this antibody is particularly important for protecting this vulnerable age group from severe RSV infections. The administration of this antibody typically is administered via injection or infusion, provides passive immunity against RSV. The significance of developing these vaccines is the reduction of hospitalization and deaths, particularly among high-risk groups. Before the approval of these vaccines, there was no specific vaccines available for preventing RSV infections in these target population. Also been major advances in the mental health space, particularly the FDA approved Zuranolone, which is a drug used for postpartum depression, PPD for short. Postpartum depression or PPD is a complex mix of physical, emotional and behavioral changes that happen in some women after giving birth. It's characterized by depression, anxiety, and fatigue. The impact of PBD is that it can affect a mother's ability to care for her newborn and interact with other family members, making its treatment crucial for both the mother and the baby's well-being. Zoranolone is an oral medication, which is why it's different from some of the previous treatments for PBD that requires hospitalization and intravenous administration. Zoranolone is a neurosteroid, meaning it acts on the brain's GABA receptors. GABA plays a key role in regulating the mood and anxiety. One of the key benefits of this drug is it can be administered orally, as it makes it more convenient option for new mothers. The major significance of this approval is Zoranolone is more accessible treatment than other options for PPD, which can be crucial for new mothers who might struggle with hospital visits for treatment. 